Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Regal Knight and today we are going to be playing two interviewees. Interviewees. Yeah. I don't know. I saw this on Game Joe and it actually looks pretty interesting. You are to get two people hired. One male and one female. At least that's what the entire uh, opening of it said. Okay. Stay calm. Deep breaths. Be confident. Jewelry or no jewelry? I mean, in an interview, you want to, you know, look nice, right? So, why not? Ready to go. Oh, but it's for the guy. To, uh, shit. <clears throat> Business Service Inc. and Studio Team LTD. Hello! 9 a.m. interview. Right on time. Martin Smith and Irene Wilson. I read your CV carefully. Weird looking, weird look, okay? Elegant, pretty. Oh, I did not read that. How would you describe yourself? Uh, as a competent, ambitious professional, a discreet and diligent person, what do you mean? I don't get it. Get them both fired. As a competent, ambitious, resolute, arrogant, wow, wow, hmm, fine. Did you check on our website that our core, what our core business is? Of course, business intelligence and maintenance. I did, but I, okay, so, the, okay, so one of them is gonna be, uh, like, you know, a total, like, uh, trying to, seem somewhat for the both like I did but I didn't fully understand and then like <clears throat> like uh, of course business intelligence and maintenance is for the left but of course B2B and B2C consultancy is for the right and this one I feel is just gonna make them look both bad I'll explain our mission is total customer satisfaction through just in a time Delivery, a full stack support based on state-of-the-art technology. Is that true? I see. Have you got the necessary skills for this job applied? Absolutely. Skilled. Skilled. Great. How do you see yourself in 20 years? On a Caribbean peach with a drink. With an established career and a family. Focused on my goals, I don't know. Huh. <clears throat> Because, like, the last one I answered is, um, Resolute, but it gave her an arrogant person. So I have to, the answer I pick is for both of them, but, um, I mean, eventually everyone gets it, right? Skilled, skilled. Work ethic, pregnancy alert. <laughs> oh, God. I, I mean, this is true. Um, hmm. May I ask what your martial status is? Uh... I am planning to move in with my partner, then we'll see. Not having a job prevents me from thinking about marriage. I enjoy being single. Isn't this a question a bit off topic? Uh. Hmm. I'm planning to move in with my partner, then we'll see. Not having a job prevents me from thinking about marriage. I enjoy being single. Isn't this question a bit off topic? Work ethic. Reserved and bullshit. It's standard procedure, but we can skip it if you mind. Hmm. What's the salary you expect to earn? Gross annual income? Yes. 20? 30? could give 30 for the guy, you know, they could be like, alright, yeah, sure, why the hell not? But 30 for the girl, and be like, alright, this bitch needs to know her place. You know, it's... Oh, God. Um... But even then, both together, depending on what time period this is, like, it could have been in the 80s, you know, maybe it'd be fine, but if it's now, it's totally fucking... You can't do shit about it. Um... I'm going with 20. Desperate. 
See? Desperate. Okay. Hmm. I'm being honest here. I'm not sure where we're going to hire you, but we'll let you know. Goodbye. Don't hire, final grade, D minus, don't hire. Well, fuck you both. One in five UK mothers felt harassed or criticized at work because of her pregnancy. One in nine was forced to leave the job for being pregnant. This was a 2015 survey. Holy crap. Alright, all right, I think I get the idea. <clears throat> Stay calm. Deep breath. I'd better be off about it. Hello. 9 a.m. interview. All time. Martin Smith and Irene Wilson. Ready to see me carefully. It looks pretty, but sloppy. See? Uh, let's start the interview. Yes. How would you describe yourself? Hmm. One's for business and one's for the studio team. Full and bold. Should really be thinking better on this. It doesn't matter, it was a warm up question. Did you check our website on the core business? Of course. Uh, we do that as well, but it's not the whole story. Okay, so that was the right one. Our mission is total customer satisfaction through in time delivery, blah blah. Have you gotten an extra skill for the job? Absolutely. How do you see yourself in 20 years? Focused on my goals. I ask you what your martial status is. Planning on moving to an apartment we'll see. Plans to marry? How's that a bad thing? I mean, of course, marriage leads into pregnancy and everything, but that takes years at a time. Hmm. Uh, I think we can stop here. Thanks anyway. Game over. Miss Wong, please let the next candidate in. Certainly, Mr. White. Whoops. During her active lifetime, the average woman in the EU earns 41% less than the average man in the 2012 data. Oh, I'm gonna keep going. I did not realize she had pearls. Okay, weird look. Yay! I'm getting pretty. Let's start the interview. Discreet and diligent person. Anxious. See. Did you check our website for the course? It's not exactly. Da, 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 I see. Skilled. Uh, <laughs> lazy arse. Kept woman. Good luck. Hmm. May I ask what your martial status is? I enjoy being single. No children. Spinster. <laughs> oh god. Hmm. What's the salary you expect to earn? Gross annual income? 30. Uh, ask for too much. I'm being honest here. I'm not sure where we're going to hire you, but we'll let you know. Um, thanks for your invitation, but I guess my wife expects me to be home for dinner pretty early. Yay. Slut. Wow. <clears throat> Goodbye. Final grade F. Don't hide. Don't hide. Miss Wong, please send in the next candidate. Is Miss Wong working in both areas? In most European countries, female workers employed in the public sector enjoy a narrow pay gap. The gender gay, the gender pay gap in the private sector is six percent wider in the UK, nine percent wider in Italy, seventy percent wider in Belgium. This is the third 2013 data. Wow. I just want to keep going just to find out all this data information. Oh, here it is. Okay, though. Another random fact. That was another, the same one. Okay. In an average, in the USA, woman 
who works full time are paid 21% less than men. Okay, I think this is broken, but. One in five, okay. At any level of education, US women earn less than their male counterparts. Education makes women earn more, but does not fill the gender gap. The employment rate in the EU is 11% higher for men compared to women. During her active lifetime, the average woman in the EU earns 41% less than the average man. Okay, got over that one. How many? Hmm. 71% of in entrepreneurs in Europe are men. At any level of education, the US woman earns less. Okay, so... So this is a... Uh, da, 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 what do you call that? Okay, I don't want the sources. Thank you, though. Uh, this is one of those games where it's dividing sex for work. Saying, you know, like, it has been for the longest of time, men tend to get everything through work and effort, blah, 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 blah. That kind of shit for guys, blah, 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 you understand. While the women, the women are, you know, undertreated and told, you know, that you're not going to be making as much. You could be in the same, you could be sitting in the same ranks as the men, but you will not be making as much. This entire sexism thing is still going on, and we're in the year 2016. The fact that it's still going on is still very, uh, very saddening for our race. Time, snap, blah, blah, blah. Don't call me gay, goddammit. Hug my earrings. But he's wearing it on the left. Uh, no. You remember that? <laughs> like, in middle school and such? Like, I remember that. Like, people always told me, like, Oh, people are starting to wear earrings, da 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 Boys and girls. Girls and boys. And it's like, what? Weird. I tried. I had it on the entire wrong side. Like, there were guys that were wearing it on one side. There were guys that had both of them. Blah, blah, blah. But they had this entire rumor of, like, Oh, if you wear said earring on one side, it, may it means you're gay. Yeah. I went through middle school on the wrong ear. <laughs> uh, I mean... Not saying, you know, not saying like, oh my god, you know, gay, yeah, you know, I'm not a homophobe or anything, it's just, you know, I, I've been teased a lot about it. Anyway, without all this unnecessary talking, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more, subscribe. I'll put a link in the description below for this game. This game is actually going in pretty deep, to, um, trying to speak up for women and what how um miss and how people are still overlooking the entire glass ceiling effect for women i hope i really used that right because i haven't heard that term in the longest of time anyway with that i will see you all next time and again if you feel that you want to share this video with friends and families, please go right ahead. It, has, it is asking for a deeper message for how employment looks at women, so it would be nice to wear to raise awareness. Sorry, every time I try to do something like this and try to talk, my mind just kind of... Anyway, next time.